In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a FS00 automation script. So I will be able to run the transaction FS00 in SAP and create the GL account numbers from the data from this Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to be utilizing Inawera's process runner to do this. I'm going to pull up process runner now. From here at the start page, I'm going to click on new. Once I do this, I type in the transaction code FS00. I click the start recording button. Now I log into the SAP system of my choice across my SAP landscape. From here, now I'm just going to start entering the data. Process Runner is recording at an API level, so I could check email or something of that nature and that would be not would not be recorded. But any of the screens that I navigate, the screens will be recorded as well as the fields on those screens. I'm just going to change the GL account number here and the company code. Now I'm going to click on the Create button. From here, I'm going to select an account group, ANL Fixed Assets Accounts. And now I'm going to go down to this Balance Sheet account, click here. And now I'll fill in the short text. And then also for GL account long text as well. And now I just need to scroll down here and put in this group account number. And now that I'm done with this screen from here, I'm going to now go to the control data screen. From here, I'm going to check only balances and local currency. And now I'll go to the final screen, create bank interest. From here, I just need to enter the field status group. I'm just going to move SAP over here and get that. So BPS1. And now I'm finished with the script. So I'm going to click Save here. I've recorded all of the screens that I want to navigate. Now I can just save this to my hard drive or network. Now I'm going to be taken into Process Runner's Mapper tab. And from here now, I'm just going to map or just make sure that these various fields are mapped to the appropriate columns in Excel. Now this is an internal instance of Excel called an iBook, so I could actually have the data inside of the script, but I want to link it to the external Excel file that I showed you earlier. So I'm going to go to this drop down here. I'm going to select external Excel, and in just a few seconds here will be uh, linked, this Excel file will be linked to this script. I just need to select that Excel spreadsheet here. And this you can see this refresh here. And now the Excel file is linked to the script. So here I have the GL account number coming from column A, company code from column B, a GL account group from column C. I have my GL account short text coming from column D, GL account long text from column E, my group account number from column F, and my field status group from column G. Now I'm going to go over to the Home tab here, and I'm just going to set this to run uh, start row of two, and then I can make the end row as large a number as I want, as Excel has a million row limit. And I'm going to go ahead and run this, and we should actually see an error on row two as I utilized that data to er, initially create the script. So we'll see an error on that first row because that GL account will already be created, but the rest of our rows should be fine here. So I actually could have changed that start row from three if I wanted to, and then just bypass that data in the second row. Over here on the left, we'll be seeing a status of the run. And there you can see the calls are being made and that uh, error message there. It's going to be that uh, row two. All 
All right, so let's bring up the Excel spreadsheet now. And there we have that error as I expected, as I had already uh, committed that data SAP when the script was originally created. But now we just want to look in SAP and verify uh, that we'll take this one in row three, just verify that it indeed has been created in SAP. So I'm going to bring up SAP here, put in my FS00. And let's see, we have 279422, and this is company code 2000. And we'll just take a look at this with the display here. And there you can see that GL account has been created. So that's been an example of how to create the automation script for the transaction FS00 utilizing Inaware's Process Runner. Now I'm going to show you how we actually embed the script into the Excel spreadsheet so that Excel becomes the interface to SAP and you don't even have to utilize Process Runner. So what I'm going to do here is just exit out now and I'm going to go back to Process Runner. And so from here, there's a drop down where you can do save as Excel, add in ready file. Now, before I actually do this, though, as a best practice, I'm going to close out this Excel spreadsheet. So I'm just going to close this out here. And now I'm going to click on the drop down again, click on the save as Excel, add in ready file. And once I do this, I am taken to this generate Excel, add in ready file pop up screen. And here you can see uh, the path. And so that's where, where my Excel file is at. And then this is the script that I have just created for this video. And that this is just showing that this will be embedded in the Excel spreadsheet. So now I'm going to click on this generate button here. Just get a pop up that says it's going to flicker during the template generation process, which you just saw. And now that says the Excel file is ready to be used with Process Runner Excel add-in. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to minimize Process Runner here. And now I have the FS00 Excel spreadsheet, the data set Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to click on the Process Runner Excel add-in tab here. And now you notice that it says the processes are not defined. I'm just going to go to Settings here and click the Refresh button. And there, now you can see that that process file is indeed embedded in this Excel spreadsheet. Now, another thing that I could have done is right from Excel, I could have clicked this Add button here. And then I would be taken into my Inawera process file folder. And from there, I could also select the script as well. And so now that my folder selection has come up, I'm going to go to Documents and then Inawera. And then there's a default folder within Inawera called Process Files. And then in here, I could also select that process file. And I would just select Push Open, and then it would embed it. And actually, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll just actually take a different process file here. And so now when I click on this drop down, after a few seconds here, you will see it, uh, we'll see the two files. So now with this drop down here, you can see the second process file that I attached through the add folder. So I could have done that either way, the way that I showed you in Process Runner, or again, just going to this add folder here and then selecting it from the default folder of process files, uh, which is under the Inawera folder. I'm gonna go ahead now and, and just remove this one as it's not, built precisely according to my data layout here. So I'm just gonna go to process files here, select this one and I'll hit the remove button. And now I'm back to that original process file. And now actually what I'll do here, let's just show you that it will run properly. What I'm gonna do is actually uh, put a few more in here. So let's do uh, 71 through 73. Just change this real quickly to 71 and 73. So we'll create two accounts here and I'll change the start row and the end row here. Just make that two through three. And now I'm gonna press, uh, and actually let me clear out the messaging here. 
All right, and so now I'm going to press run and we'll just create uh, two GL accounts here as I've selected the start row of two and end row of three. And again, uh, just as in process runner, I'm logging into the SAP system of my choice. So I don't have to worry about anyone getting a hold of this Excel spreadsheet with the process file embedded in it. If they do not have the proper SAP authorization, don't put in a correct username and password, then it's going to error out. You cannot in any way bypass SAP security with Process Runner Excel add-in and with Process Runner itself. There's a little run status log here showing right inside Excel. And there you can see the success messages there. So I'll just wait a couple more seconds for this to completely finish out. Then we'll take a look at them in SAP. Well, I'll take a look at one of them in SAP. All right, so let's bring up SAP here. Put in my FS00. And now we'll put in that GL account with the 71. And we'll hit the display here. And there you can see. So I was able to embed the process file into the Excel spreadsheet. And now my end user is able to utilize Excel as an interface to SAP. Thank you for watching.